It felt good to, uh, you know, I could have made par. I had par in the books. I was gonna make it, but I figured, let Steve, you know, let Steve try to, you know, yeah. you know oh, what I'm trying to say. So you, you didn't, you didn't, okay. I don't know. You kidding me? That's how you start? Hey. Yes. Never a doubt. Goodness, it's gonna be a good match today. And it releases. You donkey. Dude, that's an incredibly tough shot. Alright, you guys. This is kind of an update. But this is what we've got so far. Okay, so if you guys know Hogwarts, if you guys know anything about Harry Potter, okay, you should know what most of this stuff is. AKA that right there, the mirror room, remember? Gryffindor common room. These little doors open. Quick, quick. You go through the tunnel. The long bridge, you know, where the all the soldiers come out and yeah. So there's that one. And then there's also this tall castle as well, which is really insane how far this is coming along, okay? There's that tall castle. So that's kind of an update for the Harry Potter Lego mystery. I think we have one, two, three, four, four. We got four bags left and this thing's gonna be done. So in the next video, you'll see it completely done. I'm gonna put the last piece on and zoom out. It'll be really cool. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. Today's video, I believe we're playing a match against Steve at Stonebriar. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. We're gonna get right involved with the intro there. So this is just a little heads up here. Mic test one, three. Welcome back, folks, to another freaking Matt Sharp video, you guys. We've got something kind of special for you. A little Matt versus Steve. I have not Whoa. seen a Matt versus Steve match in quite some time, so. The only time we've played, like, a match is in the good, like, we do the one-hole matches. Yeah, like, in good, good, we have some one-hole matches. It's always me and Steve battling it out, so we're going to be doing it on the channel here. Matt versus Steve, straight up, seven holes, and we're just going to see who can come out with the W. We just filmed the one for Steve, and we played some really good golf, so I don't know when that's going up, but check it out if you have it. And, of course, thank you for all the likes and the subscribers and the comments and all the greatness you guys have been putting out on all the videos videos recently. It's been absolutely insane. I think we got 15.1 thousand subscribers in the last 28 days. You guys are helping me beat this little freak yeah, no. to 200 thousand subs and we better do it folks. <laughs> okay? Because the person is going to win a new set of clubs, a lot of cash. I don't know what's on the line. I mean Steve are playing for some destiny here. So like and subscribe to both of us. Subscribe to who you want to see first. Get to 200 thousand subscribers and we're just going to jump right into this out here at Stonebriar Country Club in Texas and it's about 116 degrees. So you're going to start off with the first shot. 173 yards yeah. playing like 160 just because the pin's all the way in the front. Let's see. Let's see. He's got seven. My gosh. Oh my gosh. You kidding me? That's how you start? Hey, you. You know how many holes you're gonna have on the, your channel? Four. Okay. Get there, Lee. Oh, that was a really good kick. Not quite the start that Matt wanted, but uh, luckily enough, eight iron hit that hill, came back a little bit. Steve's got a puff for birdie. He is starting off much stronger than he did when we filmed his. Matt just off the green. I actually have a longer birdie putt than I was expecting, but it is a birdie putt. Much rather be putting, folks. But when you're as good as I am, it don't really matter. Yeah, you're not gonna make that, my guy. Woo! Come on, come on. And it's still a little long. That's how that shows you these greens don't play here today. So Steve has made a really long putt on this hole before and he is not gonna do it again because I will say something about it. Nope. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. This hole's a little faster than the normal Steve. Steven Castaneda needs to make his par. Bro, your putting is just pissing me off. No doubt. This is the first time I've putted in a long time. All right. Never a doubt, Steve. All right. All right. Never a doubt. Goodness, this is going to be a good match today. Telling me and Steve start off with some hot, juicy pars. That wasn't actually legal because you took my 60. This is true. I got to talk to Stonebriar. I think they have my club. All right. Let's make some more good putts. Steve somehow still technically has honors. You'll take it. He's got driver in hand. I got my little iron. Steve's gonna hit one up there over this bunker and put it right in the middle of the fairway. Yes, sir. That'll work. You little turd. Might, the driver might be broke, but it'll work. He just skipped all the garbage. I zoomed in, because that's no way there's a shot trace around that. 
frick, I just hit a tree? All right, Matt went left. I got lucky and he got unlucky. This, this new swing change, sometimes I hit it a little left. All that means is I'm just I'm really getting through the ball right now, which is really good. My hips are coming all the way through. Just a little bit too through. Here's where Matt has landed. It ain't good, I'll tell you that. No, not the best place, but he does have a shot, a little one. It's either that or take my medicine. What does medicine mean? Take it out to the right and just take my medicine and make par. No way. Where'd it go? Take the bunker. Bunker? All right, that's Take fine. The bunker. I think it's fine. To even hit it in there, that's a good shot, okay? Yeah. All righty, Steve, you have a much better look here, although the pin is tough. Yeah, the pin's in a tough location, 138. I got a P-wedge. If anything, I'm gonna bail out to the layup. I like it. And I went right into a bunker. Hey, we're both in a bunker. Nice. That was so cool because the birds flew by your I little know. ball there saying, not on the green. Bye-bye. Yeah. Look at this, some two kids in a bunker. This is a hard shot. We have some difficult shots in front of us. Steve first. Oh. Mother of God. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, that scared me because I thought it was coming at me, considering your divot is pointed right at me. me Alright, here we go. Sharf is in literally pretty much the same position. See what he can do. Same spot as well. Dude, we were literally just following each other around the course. Actually <laughs> further away. I'm a little further away. I... <laughs> you know, sometimes you get in a bunker and sometimes you get out of it. Oh yeah, much better shot here, for sure. We got some chips. Yeah. It's definitely a chip. He's got that now for his bogey, I think, right? Huh? One, two in the bunker, three to there, four to there. Smarter than the rest, huh? I make my chip in, Steve. No. That was a good chip, though. Dang it. You just put the pressure on me. Yeah, I'll give it to you. It's pretty close, boys. Good good might be going to Hawaii, but we got no plans. All right, Steve, come on. That was good. I'm gonna pick up my ball. Dang, Steve. That's tough. For you, not it for is, me. Because I, I thought I had some pressure on him, but Steve doesn't care about no pressure, so. Still all square. Still playing some pretty solid golf. I mean, that hole was not very good. We did make bogey, but pretty good chips and up and down for Steve and up and down for me, so. Can't beat it up and down. Can't complain about that. So moving on to next hole. Let's do it. Steve's still on the tee. Still got honors only because he went first. That's the only reason. Seven iron for Steve. Trying to hit this green. Uh-uh. It's open there. I can't get that up and down, but. <laughs> How do you thin it and always hit the green? Oh, I'm zooming in. It's a little long. Frick it, dude, Steve. <sighs> That's right, Steve doesn't really understand what, how tracers work, but we're gonna get I've them figured out. Tracers. No, I'm gonna put you in a tracer. How about that? Use Steve's nose as a tracer. All right, I thinned it, and I'm long of the green, which is a good thing, because I'm still in a pretty solid position to chip it in. Okay, I'm going for chip-ins now. So, not, not the best hole, still can make birdie. So Steve is all the way over there. His ball is in play, obviously. He's gonna try and hit this on the green. He's got a tough shot. That was a good line. It looked like that was a pretty solid line. Oh, Steve, you're doing great. You want to go again? I want to finish. All right, that's fine. Nope. Oh, that. Oh. <laughs> no. Took a dump on you. That took a crap on me. I'm going to call it an opportunity. I would call it, yeah. Steven giving you a chance. All right, a little short. you get two putts to win. All right. And you take all two of them, huh? Okay, but that line is money. Good putt. All right, Matt takes a one-up lead going into the fourth hole of the day, correct? Four. Yeah, this is the fourth hole of the day. Correct? We start on eight, nine, ten, so we're coming up on the fourth hole of the day. Yeah, we're going on to the fourth hole of the day, and with the one-up lead, congratulations. Thank you. It felt good to, uh, you know, I could have made par. I had par in the books. I was going to make it, but I figured, let Steve, you know, let Steve try to, you know, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say. So you, you didn't, you didn't, okay. I don't know. All right, so we made it to hole number 11, our fourth hole of the day. It's kind of a gettable hole here. You guys can see the pin way over there. We can't go for it because there's a 350 carry, but we can hit something pure right over these bunkers and get it right in play. That is actually the play you want to go with. Matt with the one-up lead. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> That's, oh, I got through it. You got way through it. That might be, why am I zooming? 
keep zooming in, Matt. Did you zoom in again? Yeah. It's a habit. You could remind I, me. What am I telling you? Remind me before you. Hang it, I hit that good, but I hit too far left. <laughs> Someone made another triple bogey. Love to see it. Yes. Good job, kids. Uh, I'm going to rip it over the bunker. It's a good play. <clears throat> Kyle. Kyle. Nah. <clears throat> Oh. Oh. I think it dropped past, I think it hit past the water and bounced back in. <laughs> Dang it, well, I got a better chance than Steve on this hole, so. Steve's gonna have to drop literally right here. Dang it, it's not good, Steve. Where are I gonna drop? Like right back here. It's across the hazard right back here. Grimy fat butt cheeks. Stop laughing. I bet there's fish in this pond. I, I just saw one jump, actually. Yeah. All right, I got a three wood. I'm just gonna lay up to the left. It's not the best day for Steve. He can still go for it. I mean, he's got three wood. He's gonna get aggressive here. I'm left. I'm not in the best position. I somehow landed on. You landed on some grass, Steve. I'm, I'm proud of you. Yeah. Oh, that's over. Skip. No! 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 <laughs> it literally skipped, hit the rocks. Bounced up, spun back, not good situation. Do I concede? No. <laughs> no, I want to see you finish this hole. Matt has 132, probably about 125. I'm going to see this through. I basically threw the whole way when I went into the water, and I knew that. That's why I went aggressive again with the three wood. And that almost worked out. Like, I was close. You were close, Steve, but, but yes, you weren't close enough. No, so I'm basically giving Matt a two-up lead through hole four. It's a dumb play by me, but sometimes you got to send it. Where'd you hit that? I hit a 50. I hit a 50 from 130. Dead center of the club face, no spin, long. Frick me! I'm gonna concede this hole. My ball actually hit the rocks and bounced back in. I'm not gonna concede the hole because I want Matt to finish it out just to see what I do. But I take a drop just for fun to see if I can make a double. Yeah. He's just gonna let me finish out, see what I do. It's gonna be really hard for me to make double from where I'm at, so. Right? Right, that's the main thing. So you shut your mouth, Timmy. All right, the temperature's dropping. I'm starting to feel a little better, but that was actually a good chip. All right, here we go. Sharp to get up and down. He, all he has to do is get up and down for a bogey. Um, and he wins. Par. Par. Goodness. Ah, you don't want to be on top of this knoll because you will literally, I then you might make it. Snap that hard. Yeah. All right, I feel pretty confident though. Good putt. Yeah. All right, I gave him the last two. Poor decision, Steve. You saved yourself some embarrassment. I lost it, you idiot. Uh, mm, two down, through you four. Got plenty holes. You I still got, got a couple more holes. I got a couple more. I got three more holes that can make a comeback, which I'll win every one of them. Oh come on! Don't do this to me now. Oh oh! There was a spark. There was a spark for fly. You got a spark of of knowledge, Steve. So wait, uh, since I get the spark, do I get to hit first? Because you messed me up when you go first. No, sure, sure. I'll let Steve, you know what? Steve's having a tough go of it, right? He's having a tough go of it. Sometimes you gotta let the small kid play with the ice cream or he's gonna get upset. I'm already upset, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm currently two up. To be short of those weeds. It's short of the weeds. Do not zoom in. Okay, there you go. That's all you had to say. The only thing you gotta zoom in is from there to crop the frame just a little bit and then don't touch the camera. Got it, got it, got it. 540 yard par five, you guys. Big hole. Need to get a good drive here. Right side is a miss. That's the miss. It's turning. It's turning. It's turning. That was a bomb. It's the Colin dance right here, right? All right, all right, all right, all right. You're not, you're not, you're not, not good. You just gotta know I'm at the bottom of my game right now. No, you're in the bottom of the barrel, but that is when you take advantage, right? I did. I, I did it a couple times. <laughs> no, but seriously, hopefully guys are still enjoying this. Hopefully me and Steve have gained already a thousand subscribers just from this. So go subscribe to Steve and me. Subscribe to me first, then subscribe to Steve. Yeah, because that number is down to like five now. I'm at 57. I'm at 56. 76. I think I'm at 71. You're not at 76. I think so. Yeah. That's a good looking dude. Wow. All right. Steve, you're in play here. Yeah, I'm holding on by a little freed finger right now. I got a seven iron. I'm gonna play this hole a little bit smarter. Yep, he's got, I mean, he's literally got 260, so he's gonna play seven iron right in the fairway. That's actually golden. That's money. 
I hit that probably 180, 190. You hit nice. That was nice draw. That was nice, Steve. Wow. Yeah. Thank really you. good, man. Thank you. You see my ball in the fairway there? You see it? Ha! Let's see if you can hit the green from huh? 215 yards. Here we go. Matt is in the center of the fairway. I actually laid up pretty good. I should be able to go at it and maybe get a birdie. Get one back on the sharp. Oh, God. That is so good. What do you mean you're in the center of the green? I, I mean, I keep thinning it. How am I still thinning it in the center of the green? Okay, I thought it was long. Hey. Yes! Hey, shut up. I'm going to... I'm thinning it, but I'm thinning it to victory. That was a 330 yard drive for everybody wondering. I just looked it up on this little map here. So, pretty solid. Steven's gonna find his ball, hit it pretty well, uh, but not well enough to beat me. I'm gonna send him home, but we're not gonna send him home crying because everybody's a winner. Welcome back to the game show. I hate when people say that. I know, right? Everybody's not a winner, right? And if you're if you're a loser and you're saying we're all winners, that's what losers say. Literally. You're making fun of the balls I use, right? You're making fun of my balls again. Uh, <laughs> all right. I got 60, 55 yards to the pin. I gotta go over a bunker, get it kind of straight up, straight down, but I'm gonna give myself a birdie look. Steve actually doing pretty well on this hole so far. Get over. Oh. No. What was I recording, but no. I'm not gonna, no, this is part of the plan. I'm gonna get up and down for a par. I might not beat Matt with his birdie, but I'm still gonna get up and down for par. <laughs> part of the plan is to make a par? You butt crack. Is that what I said? <laughs> he was like, I'm gonna get up here and chip up, make a birdie. And then he gets in the bunker, he's like, ah, it's part of the plan to make a par. Yeah, no, it literally. <laughs> he had something working for him there, but uh, I had something going. He had something going, but I got a nice little uh, opportunity here to potentially make an eagle, so I'm gonna potentially possibly do it. So, yeah, heads up, boys, for sure. God, I hate, I love this. Look yeah. At, look at this angle. Look at this. Nice. And it releases. You donkey. Dude, that's an incredibly tough shot. Good job. I'm actually proud of you. That sounded like it was a little fat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Charf actually has an eagle putt. He thinned it to the center of the green. I'm still going to make a par because. See, he's definitely not out of this. I have to get a two putt. If I hit this pretty close, it'll be game over. Is it that in the match? Yeah, I'll be three up. Huh. So you beat me through five. Yes. I said you mean yes. Yes. No, you're not. Yes! No, I was saying like good putt. Oh, thank you. Come here, flamingo. No, no. Have you seen these good, good shirts? No, no, you're, you, you play, you're playing really good golf. Here. You just want me to putt? No, no. Oh, no, no, you want to put oh. some pressure on me? See, he wants to put some pressure on me. He thinks it's going to do something, but it's not going to be nothing when I make this birdie and take a crap in his front lawn. I have a farm now, though. That's kind of yeah. weird. That's a big old lawn. All right, Steve actually needs to make this. Huh? Yes. What the beautiful putt! Steve, that puts pressure on me. Shut the f <laughs> No, I, I'll give it to you. You play really good. I just, this is this is what happened. I'm coming out of a, a rut. I'm like four over right now through four. You know what? We're just going to roll with it. Matt, go ahead and tap this in. Good match. <laughs> hey. That was a good match, actually. And you give me six months, and I promise you this will not be the same. No, I agree. I think when Steve, he's going through a swing change, I'm actually going through a little bit of a swing change. I might do a video with Grant talking about like working through a new swing or something like that, but we both played pretty well. Again, it, we got we both have a lot of room to work with here. A lot of golf that can still be played from both of us really well. I know it's in both of us. Steven just did make a video about him talking about his golf game that it was bad, but honestly, it's not that bad. He does not, again, there's not much in his swing that he needs to change. It's gonna be like one or two small, simple things. He's gonna get dialed in and figured out. Yeah, I, it, this is the first time I've been on a golf course, like I said, since July, so it feels good, and we're in the middle of the end of July. Wait, yeah. I said July 28th? I meant June 28th. Yeah, I know. And once you said that, I was like, uh, July 28th is like two days ago. Oh, that makes me sound like an idiot. Bradley, fix that in my video. So it feels good, I'm finally on a golf course again, and I'm not playing uh, horrific. I said I couldn't even make a triple. I made a bunch of bogeys and par, so. Yeah, literally, not bad. This is a good competition, both for me and Steve, just to figure out where our games are at, because honestly, my games, I, I, here's the here's the bad thing. Unfortunately, I think before my swing change, my golf game was better than it is right now. So I got a lot of work to do with on the range. I'm gonna be there again tomorrow, working through it, trying to figure out some things, and hopefully it'll get a little better. But it's got to get a little worse before it gets better, as you guys know. So I'm just glad I played pretty well. We are gonna get some thumbnails, and then we're gonna get out of here. But thank you guys for watching again. They need to like. They need to subscribe. You need to follow me. You need to follow Steve. Follow whoever you want to hit 200,000 first, okay? I'm going to keep saying do me, but if you guys want to have this guy hit 200,000 first, let's do it. Me and Steve, we've grinded a lot through our channels together. We've been through a lot together on the on the road to this 200,000 point. I, so, I had to slow down for him, but... Yeah, he had to slow down, right? He was he was in front of the train. He's coming back a couple of carts to let me catch up. Yeah, I told um, him. I gave him a little secret in the air. Yeah, a little secret in the air. I'm going to continue to... No, it's going to be fun. So, subscribe to both. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.
Stop.